Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip and I apologize for the weird look of this video because I got the camera way up high on my tripod because I want to shoot down into my cedar chest. I'm going to be showing you a project on how to put a false bottom in this. I was looking for a place to hide something very substantial and that would be my scout rifle. And when I found out that it fits inside this chest, I thought this would be a perfect candidate to put a false bottom in and uh, get it out of sight but make it still somewhat readily accessible. Now this is a cedar chest I bought at a Salvation Army store probably 15 years ago and it was a really rough shape. Uh, these false hinges were all scratched up. The finish was gone. There were some great big circles here like somebody had used this to store paint cans on. There was a broken uh, wheel on it. It was in really rough shape so I picked it up for ten dollars and I had a furniture restorer bring it back to its glory and for the past 15 years it has been holding my spare bedding. So let's get started on this project. And I'll show you what I did. I'll remove all this bedding. And you'll see that there is a nice uh, bottom to this made out of cedar. However, I think for our project, we don't need a cedar bottom. So the first thing I did was I got some scrap cloth and I simply cut it to fit the bottom of my chest and this is just to provide a little bit of protection for the rifle. Now this is a bolt action rifle and I found out that it fits right down here and it's snug. It, it fits perfectly like this chest was made for this rifle. An eighth of an inch longer it wouldn't fit so it's a perfect fit. However, since this is a bolt action rifle, I'm going to take the bolt out and store that separately simply because otherwise it would raise the whole rifle up another inch and a half, two inches. And this thing is only, I don't know, 10 inches deep. So I want to maintain as much space as I can above this to give the illusion that there's no false bottom. So I'm going to store it without the bolt in it. And this is just me. I just took a piece of wood and I'm going to store that on that piece of wood. This way, if there's any gun oil on here, it won't soak down into this cloth. The cloth is also here to help absorb some of the gun oil that might come out of it after I clean it. Now, in order to create the depth of the false bottom, I simply measured how much space I need, and I found a piece of uh, three inch lumber down at the hardware store, and I simply took my handsaw and cut that in various lengths, and I'm going to lay those pieces around so it will support my false bottom. Again, I do not want to screw these or glue these down. They're just going to lay in there and help support this false bottom. If you only need something like this thick, just go down to the store, buy something like this, and all you need is a handsaw to cut off the pieces, and then you can lay them in there just like I did, whatever length or width you need. I also stopped by and got myself a nice piece of cabinet grade uh, quarter inch saw, uh, plywood. And you don't need to cut this. If you go to like the Home Depot, they have a panel saw and you can buy a two foot by four foot piece of uh, this kind of plywood. And they will cut two cuts, a rip and a cross cut, and cut it to size. The next thing I did was I had some felt and I took some felt and I simply just uh, took some craft adhesive and I sprayed it all over the one side of the plywood and I put this uh, felt down on it. But before I put my false bottom in, I want to put in the rest of my accessories. There's my bipod and uh, a spare buttstock extension and a magazine. And all I need to do at this point is drop my false bottom in and push push it into place. And now, if anybody opens that up, they're going to just look at it and they think there's just felt along the bottom. And my rifle is still accessible. If I ever want to go to the range, um, yeah. Houston, we have a problem. Not to worry, though. I planned on that. What I did was I also got about a foot of number four bare copper 
This is a copper that's very stiff, but you can still bend it with just, um, you, if you're really strong with your hands, you can bend it with your hand or a couple pairs of pliers. And I made a couple of hooks. And in opposite corners, I left the felt unglued, and there is a hole right here that I can slide this hook into. And there's another one over here on the opposite corner. Hook that in. Grab a hold of those. And my false bottom comes right out. And there is my scout rifle fully accessible. And something like this, these pieces, I can either store over here in my closet or I can just place them up underneath here. And I don't think anybody would ever get the idea that that's what they're there for. So when I simply drop this bottom in, I simply have to tuck those two corners in. And now I can put my bedding back into this. And somebody opens that up, they're not going to know that there is a false bottom on this. It's a, it's a very deceptive look. Um, somebody's going to reach down there and see that there's not an easy way, there's not a hole in there to put your finger in. So they're probably not going to catch that there's a false bottom in this. Again, this is a very simple project. Minimal tools. You can do it in a couple hours. Have Home Depot or your hardware store, your lumber yard, cut your plywood for you. And you can have a nice hide, hiding space for just about anything. Not necessarily a rifle, but just about anything that you could fit in the bottom of this cedar chest. So this is Backpack Hack coming at you with this trail tip. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out there in the trail.